welcome to this tutorial on Mastercam's flow line toolpath. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. Um, by the way, this uh, 3D model will be included in the description below, and you can download that and import it in Mastercam and follow along if you like. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the machine mill. Let's do a default mill. And then I'm going to go to my stock setup, and we're going to add a bounding box. And I'm just going to select the cursor next to manual, select my solid, and there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and go down and select our flow line toolpath. And I'm going to do these as two different toolpaths. I find that it's just a better way of doing flow line. It gives you a little bit more control. So we have our drive surface here. Uh, check surface, we're not going to be using that right now. And then for our flow line, we can now select the cut direction. I want it to go um, horizontal and step direction. So it's going to start, start from the top and work its way down. All right. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to create a tool. Create a ball mill, standard half inch is fine, and I'll spin it at six grand at 50 IPM and also 50 IPM on the plunge. Surface parameters um, retract is uh, 250 thou, feed plane 100 thou, that's fine. Stock to leave on drive and check is also zero. And then finish flow line parameters. I'm going to select distance for our step over and I'm just going to put 50 thou on there. And we can leave this as is. And cutting method, I'm going to use the zigzag. All right. I'm going to click OK. We're going to generate a toolpath. And you can see that it just follows the surface here. Excellent tool for doing that kind of stuff. I'm going to clear my colors here, and then I'm actually just going to go back to toolpath here and select flow line once again, and select this surface on the back side here. And uh, same thing, just the drive. We don't have any check surfaces. And I'll go ahead and do our flow line. And it's already going to do what I want. It's going to start from the top and work its way down and it's also just milling uh, horizontally. Cool. So same thing, 6 grand, 50 IPM, and 50 for the feed. These should all be about the same. And this is also the same. So I'm going to select OK. So now we have a uh, two different surfaces programmed with our flow line and we could go ahead and select verify and see what that's going to do. Um, there's a lot of material here so normally you'd probably want to clean that up with the uh, OptiRough or area mill or something like that just to rough it out a bit and then come back with a ball and uh, clean up that surface. Pretty groovy toolpath here. I'll go ahead and speed that up. And there we go. It's a great way of uh, uh, machining out like complex surfaces. Flow line's great for that kind of stuff. So. Uh, that's just a quick overview on the flow line and in the next video I think I'm going to set up a series of different surfacing and then we'll go through which toolpath is best for that surface, which toolpath is best for another surface. So uh, stay tuned for that video and thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again. Thank you.